So it's a new year and I bought a new toy. I got myself a Mavic Mini. I see it more as a camera in the sky than a quad. Between flying quads and planes, I'd always prefer flying planes. I prefer the, the glidey aspect of the airfoil. Uh, but the Mavic Mini is like a fantastic cutaway camera, I find. Super stabilised in the sky. It only does uh, 2.7K 30 frames a second, or 1080 60 frames a second. Uh, I'd really like 2.7K 60, and hopefully that'll come in the future, but who knows. But as you can see, there's a bit of wind around, and uh, this little fella is just rock solid. Very, very small and quiet too, which is what I really like. Unobtrusive. <coughs> you probably hear the prop noise a little bit here. Uh, that would be about two and a half metres away, I suppose. I'll bring it right in close. You really can use it like a, a tripod in the sky. And then you could back it off and head for the sky. Got a really smoky bushfire smoke day. There's no bushfires nearby us, but uh, they're blowing in from a long way away in uh, the east of Victoria hundreds of kilometres away but the, uh, there's so much smoke around that it's, uh, it's just everywhere. I'll give you a pan around and show you. You can see it was a beautiful blue sky day earlier this morning but uh, look at it now. Limited visibility and it's just going to get worse too I think. The voice is going a bit croaky with the smoke. Horrible. We've had the driest and the hottest year on record in Australia. Now these DJI uh, camera quads are just ridiculously well stabilised and the Mavic Mini is under 250 grams uh, so it can virtually fit in your pocket. This runs off your smartphone, hardwired. There are no goggles available for it yet but I've made up a pair of sort of pseudo goggles that uh, it's just a mount for my smartphone in an old pair of uh, single screen FPV goggles. I cut the screen off and just made up a box to put the uh, smartphone in uh, and got an extension cable to go from the controller to the phone so that uh, it's a one meter USB-C male to female extension cable and that does the job. It only has downward facing sensors to help with landing. You can see if I do this it stay above my hand but if you hold the stick down it will accept that as the ground and you can catch it. So what do I think of it? I think it's absolutely stunning. It's just perfect for my purposes. It's affordable for me. Um, it, what was this? The Flymore Combo for $800 Australian I think and that gives you two extra batteries, a smart charger, that nice little case down there, a uh, couple of spare sets of props, prop guard, and it was well worth the money in my books. Uh, I would like a little bit more control over the image quality of the video. You can't control contrast. And we've got sort of weird contrast at the moment with sort of uh, browned out grass and bright sunshine. I think you have more control over still photos. I haven't really done much with the still photos. You can uh, reduce the exposure value in video, but the, that's about all you can do other than changing the, the resolution. Still well worth it for me I think it's fantastic I'll do an auto takeoff so that's taking off by itself pop it up a little bit further I'm on cinema a bit of wind now I'm uh, cinema mode now so um, it's all nice and smooth and I can walk around like this it will do sort of circles automatically. It'll do a droney uh, where it sort of takes off and uh, slants away from you. And a helix and a rocket going straight up. But if you think of it as a, a B-roll camera, which is what I think of it as, it's just fantastic. I have tried chasing uh, my friend Michael's tiger moth, but uh, really couldn't keep up with it. And I really, I'm not that good a, a, a quad pilot at this stage. Uh, I may get some usable shots with a bit more practice uh, but for the moment uh, I'm just using it as a, a camera 
a b-roll camera basically for video and it works really well like that I bought the Fly More combo, which uh, comes in this box. Really nice case. You get a uh, smart charger uh, cables. Uh, you get uh, the smart charger pack and two extra batteries there. You also get the prop guards, which I'm never going to use. Uh, spare props. That might be about all, I think. But uh, yeah, the Fly More combo is a good idea. The batteries last perfect conditions they're 30 minutes each uh, I've only ever flown them for maybe 20 minutes each I suppose but that is a lot of flight time that's that's very very useful there's the little quad as you can see it's tiny uh, that's the main thing I like about it it's small and quiet and unobtrusive not really keen on this gimbal cover it seems a bit Delicate and clunky, a bit hard to get in, but works okay. So there's a little three-axis gimbal. Beautifully stabilised, just amazing. Batteries go in the back there. SD card there and USB connection there for charging in the quad. Little controller. Aerials can go in a couple of different orientations. Control sticks, gimbal sticks store in there to pack down even more and there's the little cable there that connects to your smartphone i don't know what that is going into the controller but that's usb-c and you get three different cables for different phones so with a usb-c extension cord that's male to female usb extension uh, i can pop my phone in a pair of uh, hacked up fpv goggles and, and actually have uh, the goggles experience to fly it otherwise you're just flying from your smartphone it will fly just like this without the smartphone you don't need the smartphone to fly the fly the uh, the quad and uh, that's all you need uh, so you can just pop it up in the sky and uh, record yourself if you want to but of course you you want to see the uh, the view from the camera so you put your smartphone in there show the controls uh, it's mode 2 there's a video record there, there's still photo record there, that's the gimbal tilt. Only tilts down by default, you can get it to tilt up a little bit too. And you can tilt it by dragging on the phone screen as well. Power button there, you push once to check the power and then push and hold to turn it on. And this is the return to home button here. And here's the quad downward facing sensors, there's no forward sensors or obstacle avoidance, it's only to sense the ground. Again, let's push the button and hold. There we go. And we get an LED on there to tell you what's happening. Green means go, so that's ready to fly now. But I'll put my smartphone in there and I'll show you the app. So we have the USB-C. This is a Samsung Galaxy A8. Works nicely with this. The charger will charge the phone. I mean, the, the controller will charge the phone. I want to connect, go fly. There we go. All right, so let's have a look at some of the settings. So this button up here, uh, we can change between photo and video, telling me the GPS signal is weak because I'm in the garage. No, we still are getting GPS though. So photo, single or timed shot, exposure value, Exposure lock, auto, or you can choose the shutter speed as well. It'd be nice to be able to choose the shutter speed with uh, video, but unfortunately you can't change the ISO. So that's changing between auto and manual. Back to auto. Change to video. Actually, let's have a look at timed shot. You can change the time lapse uh, frequency which is cool. Video change between uh, 1080, 60 to 25. Uh, I should have it on 50 actually, seeing I'm in a PAL area, so I don't get conflicts with uh, frame rates. 1080, 50, 2.7K, I'll have to use 25 unfortunately. I'd really like that to be uh, 50 and 60 available. That would make it much more useful in the 2.7K. You could do sort of panning shots and moving moving uh, plane shots. 
and the quick shots you need a good GPS lock to use the quick shots this is the the automatic circle the drone the rocket and the helix and you, you sort of activate them once you're up in the air up the top we can see uh, battery level and temperature and flight time uh, and now we've got some options you can set the maximum height um, I've just got mine at 120 meters at the moment and 2,000 meters at uh, the range theoretically is up to 4,000 meters four kilometers which is pretty incredible you can set the auto return to home height use when aircraft is in flight calibrate the compass you have to do that occasionally uh, especially when I'm sitting in the back of my car it, it seems to upset the compass so uh, ask for a compass update but if you just move away from the car it seems to be okay some other stuff that I haven't looked at yet advanced safety features emergency stop control you have three different flight modes uh, cine smooth which slows everything down position mode or sport mode sport mode goes fastest position mode is sort of in between change your units uh, follow me mode gimbal which is the sort of smooth gimbal of the FPV mode which uh, locks the camera to the attitude of the the dry of the quad this is the automatic takeoff here it push and hold that to get the automatic takeoff but I don't want to do that uh, that's about all for the video all you can do is change the EV which is unfortunate I wish you could change shutter speed and uh, contrast as well contrast and saturation things like that would be very useful so these are the goggles that I made up. It's just an old, uh, crappy old uh, single screen FPV box goggle sort of setup. And I've just made a, a core plast uh, retainer for my phone, which just slips in like that. And instead of sort of plugging into this plug, I just use an extension. Extension plug like that. I also have a mock phone here too as well just to sort of tame that lead and give you something to grip onto. And that just goes in there like that. So you can operate it like that while wearing this on your head. So the Mavic Mini Fly More Combo. Yes, I'm really pleased I bought it. It suits my needs perfectly, mainly because it's small and quiet and unobtrusive. It's not going to annoy people. Uh, I can park it up in the sky just nearby. Super easy to fly. I'm not a quad flyer. I don't really care about quads, but uh, I do like cameras. And this is an awesome camera uh, on a magic tripod, basically. Video quality is good enough for my, my needs. Thanks for watching.